Hey everyone, so a while ago I made a video of this, update video, probably about a month ago, and I tr mentioned in the video that I'm going to try and make espresso with it, and me thinking espresso is just a small cup of coffee, I made a small cup of coffee, and um, everyone's making fun of me, a lot of, you know, good constructive criticism, and I really appreciate it, you know, I, I don't take it personally, I don't get offended by it, but um, yeah, I did some research and I found this thing. Uh, portable espresso maker so this is also from AliExpress just like this this is very very good product um, but I promised that I would try and find something that can make an actual espresso so I got this thing and I got another thing that I'm gonna review later mocha pot which I don't think is quite espresso either even though it says espresso on it I don't think the pressure is technically high enough but yeah, we're just gonna do a review on this portable espresso maker. Okay, so this thing costs 21 US or about 33 AU. Uh, it has 11 day on time guaranteed delivery, at least where I'm from. I think it took nine days to arrive and it has 4.7 star positive review, which is pretty good. And um, almost hundred sales, which is, you know, good enough for the reviews. And the reason I picked this one in particular is because just visually it kind of looks like it's made out of some kind of aluminum, anodized aluminum or something. So there's a chance it's not completely made out of plastic. A lot of the other options on AliExpress look like they're made out of plastic, which isn't that bad if you know what kind of plastic it is. So I'll flip the camera, we'll do an un uh, unboxing. Okay, we'll have a quick look at the box. Okay, I needed, and we got the English description here. Um, up to eight bar pressure without electricity. So that's the main thing for espresso, from what I understand, you need pressure. And for espresso, I think you need six to 10 bars of pressure. So if this is accurate, it should, should work fine. It's got a seven gram measuring scoop, um, coffee cup, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what else. Yeah, there's all the parts inside of it, I guess. All right, this is exact same thing written there. So let's get this thing open. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, it is plastic. It's not a big deal. There's there's some plastics that are better than, the, than others, like polypropylene which is very heat resistant. I don't know if it says it anywhere on here, what it's made of. I'll just pause the video and have a look. Okay, I've looked through the little booklet in the box. I can't find it, so hopefully it's made out of polypropylene. Oh, here we go. Got a little label in there. Just gonna read it. Pause the video for a second. Okay, so I've Googled this tag in here. If you look in there, you can see it says 07 PBT and what that means is this is made out of poly polybutylene, which is a thermal plastic. It's heat resistant up to 150C, which is good for coffee. And apparently it's BPA free, according to Ch chat GPT. Seemed pretty sure of itself, but it's a pretty niche plastic. It was hard to Google. So I think it's probably BPA free. Um, I know I'm gonna get that question if the plastic is safe. Um, so let's have a look inside. So we've got this, I'm pretty sure this thing can handle pods as well somehow. Maybe if you turn around there, you put a pod in there or something. I'm not sure how it works, but I'm pretty sure you can put a pod in here. If I can find one later, I'll give it a, give it a try. And we got measuring scoop for the coffee. What else? Is that as far as it goes? And then what's this? Unlock, okay. So you fill it up and then press it for the pressure and make espresso. All right, so that's that's the first impression. That's the unboxing. Um, okay, I rinsed it out about three times. So I gotta fill this little thing up with coffee. So this should be eight grams. I'm gonna use my grinder. This is a Time More C3 grinder. This cost me 40 US and it's been a great grinder. I've had it for about like, I think probably 10 months now. And you can crank it like that, but,
but just for fun, for the sake of the video. Okay, all done. So someone also asked me about this grinder, if it can grind fine enough to make espresso. So that's why I originally tried to make espresso on this thing, stupidly. Um, but yeah, we'll see if this makes a good espresso. It's a bit too... All right, I'm just gonna handle this off camera. Okay, I got some coffee grinds. I don't know, I think that might be fine enough for espresso. If it's not, um, let me know in the comments and I'll try something else. But, you know, we'll figure it out. So, the instructions say, take this off. This is the coffee filter basket. Fill this thing up. Let's get as much as we can in there. And then, tip it in. We got it. So, that's one espresso, I think. And now we gotta, which way does it go? I think it goes, and then this thing, still got a little bit of water in there. Goes on here, somehow. There we go. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so this is, this is the water tank and this is the espresso cup. So the tank's a little bit bigger, so you can't fill it up all the way. So yeah, I'm gonna use this glass so you can see the color of everything that's coming out. Put some water in there. Just gotta make sure it's threaded right. The thread's pretty short so you don't have to screw it too much. I can I can feel the pressure. There's a lot more pressure when there's beans in there. Do it nice and slow. I'm gonna make um, a little cup with this, with eight grams, and we'll see what the difference looks like. So I'll do the same amount of water and the same amount of coffee in this thing, and we'll see how different it looks and different taste of it. All right, so here we go. This one's the espresso, and this one's the fake espresso that I made last time. You can see this one's more see-through. This one's a lot darker, but yeah, let's go try them. Okay. Espresso, it's also frothy, so maybe that's a good sign. Okay, okay. Definitely is stronger, it's more bitter. Um, this one's a bit weaker. Yeah, that's a lot weaker. It's probably about half as strong as this one. Around about that. Seems good so far, but again, I know very little bit about espresso. Okay, so that's the espresso maker. $21 espresso, espresso maker from AliExpress. And it seems okay so far, but I need to learn more about espresso to really know if it's good but um, it seems like a good product so far. Um, the reason I made this video is because of all the feedback I got from my eight month update video on the Europress. And I tried to make espresso with that and I thought it was just a small cup of coffee. Boy, was I wrong. But I really appreciate, appreciate the feedback you guys gave me. It gives me an opportunity to do it right and make some actual relevant, correct content. 
Um, I think potentially the only flaw in this one is that um, I might need a finer grind for the coffee or something. I don't know that much, but it seemed okay to me, but um, I might just buy some pre-ground espresso powder and see if it's any different. It might just be fine anyway. But the link for this and the Europress and the coffee grinder, recommend all of them, except maybe this one, I haven't used it enough yet. Uh, but the Europress and the grinder are definitely good products. Um, and I also, if you download the AliExpress app on your phone, they have games on there. I played one of their games for about a week. It's just like um, Bejeweled or Candy Crush or something like that, but you, actually, you earn actual vouchers from playing it. I played it for about a week and I got a 10, 10 US dollar voucher, which I put towards this. So, and it actually worked. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'll put my referral code in the description for that. I don't think I get much for it. And the code's probably expired by the time you see it because they have promotions that run for a week or two. So you gotta play them and then redeem it before the promotion ends. But yeah, that's the video. That's the espresso maker. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. See ya.